Hello world, I'm Blue Dolphin with the Hoplite Security Channel and we're going to be getting into the latest Hack the Box machine. It's an easy rated machine named Trick. Let's get into it. Jumping right into things here. At a high level, we're going to be covering four things today. Firstly, I'm going to do a quick disclaimer. Secondly, we're just going to talk about the box, look at the statistics, the overview page as it displays on the Hack the Box website. Then thirdly, I'm going to be speculating and telling you what I think the machine is about based off those statistics and based off the name. And then lastly, we're just going to be talking about what has been covered on the forum. So firstly, as a disclaimer, I haven't turned the machine on, haven't end mapped it, I haven't done absolutely anything at all. All right. Secondly, let's look at where the statistics are post release. We can see that the machine has a 4.2 rating, which is pretty good. I like to see this. We can see that user owns are at 279 and system owns are at 237. So this is probably not the easiest of easy machines, if that's how many owns we have at this point. The machine creator was Gelseric. So everyone click on this little give respect icon here, give him the respect that he needs and deserves. It really goes a long way for these people who do create these boxes. They gotta grind hard hours to make this happen. So you can give back and make them feel appreciated by just clicking the give respect button. Next. All right, let's look. User blood was accomplished at 31 minutes by 0x cow. Congratulations. System blood by Jazz Pizzazz. 56 minutes. Sounds hard. All right, let's look at the uh, statistics here. We can see here initially that users have emphasized the CTF part of the matrix, which kind of makes sense that the name is trick. So this means the box has something that's going to be very CTF like or require that CTF mindset as opposed to just a, a, a straight or raw CV. The community has also given it a 6.5 for enumeration. So that probably means that we want to enumerate all ports and make sure we really enumerate any services or websites that we have. And then thirdly, it looks like there's a CVE with a 5.3. And it sounds like that sounds tricky, So I, I, which I guess is in the name. But I think what's going to happen is either for user or system, it's going to be a CTF like pivot. And then for, you know, the other, it's going to be along the lines of a CVE. Scrolling down, we look at the machine difficulty rating. And we can see that it has been rated, the user owns have been rated in the medium category where the system owns have been rated as easy. And if three people a bit hard, okay. User owns has one insane, okay. Um, so I'm already guessing that the CTF portion of this is going to be for, yeah, the user phase. That's interesting. All right, well, I'm gonna speculate here. What I think this box is about is just the name Trick and what we're seeing here on the statistics page. I'm thinking already that this might be something to do with having to perhaps bypass something. So this could be like trying to bypass a file upload, maybe a password box or Perhaps there's some type of use of a service and a web page and we have to trick it. So perhaps you have a web page and it just says, you know, use this ping function to ping a box, but you have to actually use it and abuse it to, you know, cause command injection or something to that effect. I'm also thinking that perhaps there's some type of restricted web page and you have to trick that, you know, maybe it's verb tampering, but something along those lines where you have something and you're just kind of tricking it. So that could even be like a ticket granting service, you know, and you need to trick that by forging your own ticket or same with, you know, um, web tokens, having to forge a web token of some type as well. Yeah, perhaps there's just some service and it has to, we have to trick it. I don't know. It's a very vague title, so it's hard to say, but what I can say is that from looking at the forums, people were really emphasizing the need to enumerate all your ports. 
So I'm already thinking if people are saying this in the forum, I'm going straight to auto recon because auto recon is just going to do a ton of work and it's going to help pick up anything that you may have missed in your initial recon stage. The other thing is people in the forums are also talking about the importance of the SMTP service. So that's very interesting. In case you don't know, the SMTP protocol is the simple mail transfer protocol. So if we were to maybe trick that somehow, as the name implies, perhaps we're forging an email or sending an email as a user or spinning up a listener to receive mail from some type of automated mailing system that runs off a service or something like that. There was also a mention of DNS information, and I'm kind of wondering if there's a portion of this box where we have to find like a subdomain or another host that sits on the same IP, something along those lines. But anyways, I'm really looking forward to getting into this machine. As always, happy hack the boxing. See everyone in the next video.